People become more interesting when we become more interested. How has curiosity been conditioned out of you? Was there a point in childhood when someone said, you can't ask that, or that's too personal? We have to reclaim our curiosity and keep it alive as the tool that has the power to truly show us how unique and fascinating every person really is. That's what the curiosity game is for. Here's how curiosity works. One person is going to get a couple of minutes to ask anything they want of the other person. The answerer is welcome to answer questions that are given to them, or they can say pass. The goal with this game is to really tune into what it is that you want to know without judging it. You could be like, I really want to ask them about their job, but shouldn't I ask something more interesting, more authentic? Maybe I should ask them about their deepest shadows. If you're interested in their job, ask about their job. If what you're interested in is their deepest shadows, hello, how are your deepest shadows going? <laughs> if what you're interested in is their deepest shadows, then go ahead and ask that knowing that they can say pass. It's really about tuning into and leaning into the things that you want to know. And at the end, you're going to give a little bit of a gift back to your partner in the form of three reflections. And we'll go into that when we get to it. So let's do round one, curiosity. What kind of, what genre of music like really gets you into your body? Electronic music um, and particularly, hmm, like the more downbeat, glitch hoppy kind of music, cozy, the queen. <laughs> like, what's something that most people don't really know about you? Mm. That you like cherish about yourself? That I cherish about myself. I immediately went to dark things. <laughs> <laughs> that I cherish about myself. Um, hmm. So I believe in fairies mm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and um, I'm building a relationship with them on the mm. land where I live. What's, what's, um, what's something you would want to tell your like younger self, maybe your teenage self, like a mm. word of wisdom? Oof. Um... I don't know if they would listen, but like <laughs> it really actually does not matter what these people think about you. Whew. Yeah. In like multiple situations. Hmm. Wow, the the moment I felt you the most was two very different moments. <laughs> and the first one was when you just went there and said the thing about the fairies like I, I just I felt like this some kind of light in you that I like don't see very often some like kind of mysterious something like the sense of wonder that really really drew me in um and then another moment I really felt you was what you said that you would say to your your younger self about like it just doesn't even matter I felt like when you when you said that it was like oh, tears came to my eyes and it was like we, I don't know there was a, there was a moment there was a moment here uh, what I think I get about you is that you are very multifaceted that you have many different intricate parts like dynamic parts of who you are um some of which are very like seen and forward facing to the world and some of which are like kind of like in your witchy cauldron <laughs> in the background <laughs> and um yeah An experience I'd like to have with you is definitely like a like going into the other realms 
kind mm. of experience it was just like dropping into a space that's like not like normal society mm. like work world but that's just like stepping into yeah maybe like a ritual container or just like another mm. another form of time and you know involving nature and um yeah, timelessness in a way and like nonverbal like embodiment like nonverbal communication that sounds great yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Woo!